I am on my way to an army surplus store. The reason I'm going is because I want to get some original camouflage garments. Hopefully, hopefully they all have some. So I'm looking for maybe a jacket, maybe some pants or something like that. But I want to just look around and see if I can find something with the original army colors, maybe even an army badge or a patch or something I think will be so cute to match up with some of the garments that I like to sew. Looking like for jackets and pants and uh, jackets are here. Pants are gonna be right on this aisle right here. Okay, okay. Thank you. And if you need anything, just holler. Okay. Is everything like unisex or is yeah, it... most of it's unisex. Okay. Um, I really don't have a definition. I do have a women's part here, but it um, and you have a few skirts there. Oh. Um, and that's right on the other side right here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And it says women's, navy, marines, and all that. Nice. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. They really did have a whole lot of jackets. I really like this one with all the details. Look at that price. Woo! Here are some of the pants. They have backpacks, navy. Look at these like jackets, blazers. So the only skirts that they have are in solid colors. So these are all the skirts. They're white, black, navy, and green. So I found these pants and I like the little area in the back. And they're small cargo type pants. I'm gonna try them on and see how it goes. So happy with what I purchased. I cannot wait to share it with you. Oh, look at the bag. It's camouflage too. I love it. And it's nice and thick. Okay, so I bought Benson's jacket. And I love it. It was $70. It has a lot of details in it. There's a zipper in the back at the collar area. I wonder if there's a hood in there. I'll have to check when I get home. But there are patches, the front, on the side. I love all the details. The drawstring at the bottom. Oh, this was the first jacket that I tried on and I walked around the store and then I went back to this one. I tried it on in the store and I just loved it. So the other thing that I picked up was a pair of pants. The pants are a size small. They were a little baggy, but they do have some adjustments on the side so you can like pull this and make it tighter so I did that and the pockets have these little button details on the inside that is just too cute and then look at the booty part look at that can you see like there's a little patch on the booty part I don't know if you could tell that is just too cute and then you know you have the little cargo pockets on the side and then the drawstring at the hem you know on the leg opening yes i love these pants so i am too happy with my purchases i should just go home right but i had plans to stop by savers i wanted to go two places today this army store and savers so I'm gonna just still go to Savers and see if I can find maybe some fabric. And if not, it's okay because I love these 
two new purchases. I'm so excited. Okay, so that was a quick in and out. I went straight to the material fabric section. I didn't find anything and now I'm on my way back home. I just cut out the pieces for this view here on Macaws 8058. This is labeled as view B and also view F. It's just the really long length and I want the dress to be sleeveless. I am planning to use this fabric that I purchased from LA Finch a while ago. I had about three yards of it and it's really nice and thick it's like a sweater knit so I thought maybe it would make a cute dress. And this is how the dress is looking in the front and that is how it looks in the back. I cut out the neckline for view C because you have the option of a V neck. I decided to make mine a scoop neck. So for view D, I did have to lengthen the pattern pieces. And when I got over to the cutout guide, there were only two pieces. So I was like, oh wow, okay. So this should be really, really easy to do. This knit has a decent amount of stretch to it. So I cut some strips of knit fusible interfacing and I just pressed it down to each of the front and back shoulder pieces. And that should help keep the knit from stretching out too much. And once you sew the shoulders together and then you sew the sides together and then you hem the bottom and then you also hem the neck edge with a narrow hem and then this dress will be done. So this jacket does actually have a hood in the back which I really really like. I also love the pants. They are a little bit big but not too big and I love that I can wear different tops and even different shoes with these pants. <music> 